Hello friends. Update from the garden. First of all, here's the grape vine arch, the wild grape arch. It's doing really nicely. Recovering from its uh, time on the ground. We are dealing with, as always, some sort of critter that likes to infest the leaves. And I just, I just picked those leaves off. Uh, it makes them inedible. So whenever I find them, I try to strip them off. This is uh, a giant orange flower that's growing by the front. The purple heart is doing good. I think it wants more sun than it's getting. It's definitely getting overshadowed. Um, I have not been able to do as much work in the garden in the last week, so it is a bit overgrown. You can see the pathway is kind of hidden here. I have harvested some mint. The um, apple's doing good. Moline, I have yet to harvest any of the moline. I need to get that. I need to get that. The wee pond is covered in scum. <laughs> We've got the black-eyed Susans. This is the cultivar type. So they come out a little later. And I've noticed some of the other Susans do also. The, these are obviously spent. Um, second apple tree, doing good. I've been using some of the uh, mugwort. I've got a nasty, nasty sting from a um, from a uh, wasp. I'll just show you one of my fingers, how swollen it is. It's awful. So here is the bed that I put the um, sun chokes in. And immediately something came and bit the top off of a bunch of them. You can see the bite there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was deer. You can see the hoof prints. Um, and here where they just took chunks off. Uh, so that happened. I've been, uh, these guys volunteered from last year. This is, um, Hopi red amaranth. And, uh, but the sun chokes are doing all right. Uh, you can see this one in particular is, is recovering nicely. I have been using urine since, since I saw, you know, it was like the day after or a couple of days after that, that, that happened. And I've been putting urine out here a couple times a week to help keep them away. The buckwheat is blooming. How about that? And I didn't even know if any of them is sprout. The onions that I put in, some of them have survived. Not many. Uh, probably only one out of four of what I planted have come up. That is um, smart weed there. But... Here was a nice surprise. Some of the loofah survived and sprouted. Well, yep, see there's one. So that's a loofah. Now we are in July, end of July. It's almost, um, it's almost time for August, two days away from August. So I don't know, it's probably too late, but I'm hoping not. I'm really hoping not. I'm hoping that this guy, that this guy makes it. Um, some of the runner beans survived. They're starting to do good. They're getting all eaten up. Uh, I literally came out here with bug spray and sprayed them just like I would use on my own self bug spray. Uh, gotta try to get them to attach. This one has attached. That's one of the reasons I like this mesh is it's easy for them to attach. That one's not. This one is. Here's Inky very much behind season. Uh, his relatives in the wild are um, blooming. They're several feet tall. They're blooming and um, setting seed and he's just getting started because I harvested him twice this year. He's four f or five years old so I felt like it was okay to do that. <laughs> Buckwheat again. Pile of compost. This will come in handy when the cold weather arrives and I need to cover up the delicate plants like um, the elephant ears. So let's see what else is going on in the garden. Um, compost in the ground. Blueberry 
doing okay. This blueberry is doing great. He's about three feet tall now. And this blueberry here, they're doing, doing pretty good. Yeah, very overgrown, very overgrown. I don't think I have anything else to show over there. So coming around here, I've been, oh look, the crepe myrtle is blooming. So I did discover that urine, if it's cut um, 10 to one with water, see here's more of that grapevine pest. Um, urine cut 10 to one with water will act as a leafy green fertilizer. So I've been putting urine diluted, heavily diluted on the asparagus. It's going to be a few years before we can harvest the asparagus anyway. The... Ah, what's it called? Bee balm. That's bee balm there. It does suffer from the mint, from the um, fungus or, or mildew of some sort. But yeah, so you can see the uh, asparagus is very, it's a very slender thing. Hard to see. Hold on. Can you focus, please? It's starting to grow better. It like it likes the urine that it's getting. One of those weird things, like you have to get over the ick factor. Um, but here's my joy right now. Look at these guys. Look at them. Look. These are wild black-eyed Susans. Look how tiny they are. Aren't they precious? I love them so much. They're so cheerful. I didn't plant them. They come of their own accord and they are absolutely delightful. This is definitely the wild part of the garden over here. Here's more of the bee balm. It had to, it fell over because it was blocking the path. So I had to kind of push it over to the other side and it just fell all the way over. More of the brown eyed Susans. Here's another uh, asparagus. They're really enjoying getting some extra nutrition top down. This is the second best one. Uh, you can see he's got several shoots. I think four or five shoots now. So I'm really excited. Next year we'll get to actually have some asparagus out of our garden. Oh, there's a stink bug on my nut tree. We hates them. We hates the stink bugs. That's one of my hazelnuts. I did harvest the elderberry this this past week. You can see it's um, it's just about done with producing for this year. I'm leaving a lot of these because I'm hoping that the birds will plant more of them for me in the neighborhood. Um, well, I guess that one won't probably make it because it got broken. But yeah, I'm I'm really delighted with having, oops, sorry, I just blocked the camera, with having this elderberry shrub and all of the berries. Um, but I think we're doing good. We're still using berries from two years ago. So the watermelon, I've also been feeding with urine watered down and it is also growing, finally growing. That makes me happy. I have no idea if we'll manage to get any watermelons before the season is up. Um, I think whatever tried to eat the, or succeeded in chewing on my sunchokes also ate all of my grapes because there's almost none and they're not really ripe until next month. So we missed out on our grape harvest this year. I'm really bummed. See, look, there are no grapes along here at all. Last year, this was full of grapes all along here. Just absolutely grape clusters everywhere and almost all of them are gone. Um, I'm a little bit peeved about that. Here's more of the Cosmos. It's very invasive. Um, it seemed to have gotten a late start this year 
I think by this point last year, they were all tall and, and flowery. Right now, these guys are just about knee height. Dried up garlic. Mulberry. Mulberry, who is extremely tall. All right, so that's the garden. Starting from the east. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I did not. I walked right past it. Look. Hazelnuts. Oh, you're going to give me hazelnuts this year. If the squirrels don't find them. Okay. Wow. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Well, you heard it here first. We're going to get hazelnuts this year. Maybe just a handful of them. Ooh, look at the salvia. It's so pretty. Oh, and hey, I've got some butterfly weed over there blooming too. Very nice butterfly weed. Yeah, see, there's my little hazelnut. Here's my big hazelnut. And then that one down there is also a hazelnut, but I did not see any nuts on him. So congratulations, guy. Wow. All right, hazelnuts, elderberries, uh, grapes, gorgeous garden. All right, be well, y'all.